Kwara State Polytechnic is a Nigerian tertiary institution that was established in 1973 by the then military governor of Kwara State called David Bamigoye after the decision of establishing a polytechnic in Kwara State was announced in 1971. It is located in Elorin, the capital of Kwara State. Hello beautiful people, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you are new to this channel, you are highly welcome. My name is Rejoice. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on the post notification bell to all. Like this video, share with friends and family and leave your comments at the comment section after watching this video. In today's video, I will be showing you around Kora State Polytechnic in Lauren. You will get to see all the institutes and the departments apartments under them you get to see hostels and more so right now we're already inside the school we just dropped from the tricycle that took us from gate the school gate and per person we paid 50 naira anyway let me just show you around before we start the journey and there's this directional board in case you don't know much about Kora state polytechnic and you would love to visit there is always a directional board Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and don't forget to like, comment and share. So today I'll be taking us around Quara State Polytechnic. If you are coming from school gates, just keep right. Here is the Man O War office, the blue building by my right hand side. So this is the old IOT. But they already have a new one, so I'll take you guys there okay so now we are heading to the popular western hostel this is western hostel entrance but the hostel is under renovation as at the time of visit there are shops and kiosks right opposite western hostel for students to buy whatever they need By my right hand side is Quara State Polytechnic Junior and Senior Secondary School. Okay, so you guys, we just left um, the Quara State Polytechnic Junior and Senior Secondary School, and right now we are moving to IFMS, Institute of Finance and Management Studies. Like, I'm really a good student. I can't believe those things. Even Joe, I'm not from that, uh, what is it called, institute, but I still remember everything. I mean everything. So, we are walking straight to IFMS now. Beautiful people, welcome to IFMS, Institute of Finance and Management Studies. And under this institute, there are six departments. Marketing Department, Purchasing and Supply, Accountancy, Banking and Finance, Business Administration, and Public Administration. As at the time of visit, students were writing their exams, so we couldn't enter into their classes all and all that you get to see some of the students that were leaving the all immediately after their exams beautiful people welcome to hospitality management department which is under ias institute of applied science This is Leisure and Tourism Management Department, which is also under IAS, Institute of Applied Science. And just beside it is Staff Office Complex. The next Ash and Cream building that students are standing in front of it is EED Office. This is Nutrition and Dietetics Building, which is also under IAS.
Okay, so now we are done with IFMS. Now I'm moving straight to Ibas area, and we're already close to the new IOT that I talked about the last time. Yeah, so this is the rector office. Most times they don't allow students to walk around this place. Yeah, so let me show you the new IOT then. I'll be showing you around IBAS. That is my institute, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, touch it. Oh, uh -huh. touch it. <laughs> This is the new IOT building and under this institute there are seven accredited departments. Minerals and Petroleum Resources Engineering, Mining Engineering Technology, Metallurgical Engineering Technology, Mechanical Engineering Technology, Electrical and Electronics Engineering Technology, Civil Engineering Technology, Agricultural and Water Resources Engineering, and also Wedding and Fabrication, but the course is yet to be accredited. Anyway, we are moving straight to IBAS. IBAS is one of the largest institutes in Kwarapoli, but it was later splitted into IAS and IICT. The institute became too large with eight academic departments, so it was splitted into two in 2012, and the Institute of Applied Science, IAS, and the Institute of Information and Communication Technology. Department of Computer Science, Office Technology and Management and Mass Communication are now IICT, Y Institute of Applied Science has five departments, Science Laboratory Technology, Hospitality Management, Leisure and Tourism Management, Agricultural Technology and Mathematics Statistics. Lest I forget, Nutrition and Dietetics is now under IAS, Institute of Applied Science. Right now we are moving straight to some of their classes and we'll be entering into Computer Science all. You guys, by the time we got to computer science all, my legs were already on fire. After resting for a while, we continued our journey. This is chemistry lab and opposite is a biology lab. We are done with iPads right now. I'm feeling so tired, you know. Having to walk around the school is not as easy, uh, but yeah, we are going to uh tourism village now. Then from there, we'll be going to village. Yeah, walking is not as easy as I thought. Beside tourism village, there are some sculptures representing different cities, towns, villages, and so on. So let's just take a look at it, it which means if you see any sculpture representing your village or your tribe, it means there is an association or community for your village or your town or your tribe. Yeah, whatsoever it is.
so now let's go into tourism village according to teresa she told me that if you enter into this village it is an abomination for you not to eat whatsoever they are selling like doesn't mean you can just visit just take a look but yeah like it will be better if you taste the traditional food which is two masara with begiri at first i was like no but later i was just like okay no problem let's have a taste Can you draw? I only two hundred. Look at King Rao. So you guys, we are done at our tourism village, which is just right uh, behind us. So we are moving to village. Yeah, the popular IES. village. Ah yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the Institute of Environmental Studies now have about seven departments Transportation Planning and Management, Urban and Region Planning, Estate Management, Surveying and Geoinformatics, Architectural Technology, Building Technology, Quantity Surveying and Agricultural Technology. We are heading to Yankari Hostel, so we're gonna trek down there. Um, yeah. That is the stadium over there. We are not going to that side, and here is Yankari Hostel, which is May Hostel. I think this building is designed for examination only. I'm not sure if students are taking lectures over there. This is the cooperative building and just opposite there are several banks in the school right now. They have our FCMB, Access Bank, GC Bank and I think there are others but I'm not too sure. Anyway, right now we are heading to, to SUG building. This is a new hostel, but it's still under construction. Anyway, we are heading to the park now. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, share this video with friends and family, and leave your comments at the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.